Hello everyone, now it is the time for us to understand something about keyboard events. Keyboard events are nothing but the keys that we press on our keyboard, that is an event. When I press, it is an event. When I release, it is an event. And a button type, that is press and release, this together is also an event. The press is nothing but down, release is nothing but up down and up if we mix this two then it becomes press the major events are key down key up key press we are not going to you know dig into all these things we'll just try to understand how uh, this event is helpful we'll see on key press event the most uh, scenarios in which we use key press event is very famous you know very well that is count the number of characters in the text area like Twitter. Twitter does not allow you to type in more than 160 characters. And you see a counter. As you type the characters, the counter goes down. It gets decremented. So we will see how to implement that. We'll use on key press event. If you want, you can explore more about keyboard events and it all depends on your requirement. Now, let us see a demo about keyboard events that is key press event so I have one sample ready with me you will really enjoy the sample that we have so this is the text area that allows you to type in 160 characters and as soon as I start typing it reduces see now 159 characters left out so we will see how to implement this now, first of all, let me take a text area. So I have a text area with me. And you can see that text area, its ID is txt message. And I'm trying to track on key press event. And the function name is fcount. I'm trying to call this function. And I'm taking a div tag to display the counter. See, if I want, I, I can take a text box and display the counter or label and display the counter. But in your real time project, there are many scenarios where you need to uh, use div tag and update the text of the div tag. And we will also try to understand how to add the text to the div tag run at runtime, how to assign some text. So we will try to explore one more concept while understanding on key press event in this. So now, first of all, let me execute this and see how my UI looks. So this is fine. I have text area and nothing is happening as of now. Now, let me define the function. First of all, let us display the count. So I have the function fn count. And things are again same simple. I'm trying to identify the element that is txt message get element by id then I'm trying to get reference to the div tag div counter again I can use get element by id div counter now from this txt message I'm tracking the value and then its length and I'm trying to assign it to the div tag text that is inner text so I say div counter dot inner text the length of the characters. Now if I execute, it should show me the number of characters. So it's starting with zero. You see that if I write two, then it is it shows one, then three. So what I can do, I can simply say plus one. That's it. Now you can see that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I get number of characters. This is okay. But what I want, I want it to initially display the maximum number of characters that it allows. That is 160. So 160 is, 60 is very high. Let us make it 10. And what I want, I want it to reduce whenever I press a key. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to read this text that is div counter dot inner text and trying to convert it into an int and I get the count. Then I'm trying to update the same thing, the inner text with count minus one. That means whenever I press a key, I say minus one 
press a key i say minus one now you see that i'll execute this it should look good nine left out left out character is one now left out characters are zero now if i type then it goes minus one mi minus two minus three minus seven if i want to tackle that i can handle it over here now for that i need to track my counter prior to all these things the first step i need to track the counter and i'll check if count is greater than zero i want to perform all these things that is this only if count is greater than zero now let me execute and check how it works that's fine now counts become zero even though count is zero count is not reducing but it is still taking the characters so what should i do i should stop it taking the characters as well so i'll say else return false because it is returning something here i should i should say return now let me execute and check now you see that after that it is not taking anything it is returning false so that's it this is all about your key press event if you want you can modify a lot it a lot and you can implement your logic and it's up to you how you handle but i have shown uh, some real time scenario where we use key press event that's it for this video thank you very much